Okay, we're going to pretend that we're going to install Xcode in this uh, very short segment here. I put the disk in, you'll see that the Mac OS install DVD is already mounted. And when I take a look at it, I go over here and I open up the folder called Optional Installs. And you will see the Xcode Make Package. If I double click on that, I will get a standard insta uh, Apple installation screen. And you do continue and all the other neat things that you would normally do in order to install it. I'm not going to do that now because I already have Xcode running. So I'm going to eject the disk. Now the next thing you need to do after you Xcode, after you install Xcode, is to do a software update. It should happen automatically, but if it doesn't, you go over to the Apple menu, click on Software Update, and there it goes. And that's all there is to it. Okay, in this segment we're going to go find Mac ports because that's what we want to find. So I'm going to bring up Safari, Google on Mac ports, go to the install Mac ports page, and you poke around in here and you need to find the disk image, the DMG, which is appropriate for your system. I'm going to pull down the one for Snow Leopard. And here it comes. Okay. Now I'm going to quit out of Safari, bring up a finder window, and go over to my downloads folder. And down in here you'll find MacPorts DMG, which I mount. And surprisingly enough, there is an installer. It says, uh, and you do all of the stuff that you need to do in order to install the system.